trains in India versus trains in China. This is a train in India. This is a high-speed train in China. This is a high-speed train in the US. Oh wait, <laughs> I'm sorry. The US doesn't have high-speed trains. This is a train in uh, the US. I mean, look at this. Look at the state. It's almost as bad as the US's economy. Okay, whoa, stop Lizzie. This video is not about the US, I'm sorry. Welcome back to another video. Ni hao, I'm Lizzie, or as the Chinese people know me, the lychee from South Africa. Please remember to quickly subscribe and I'm gonna put my Belly Belly account down in the description. So go follow me on Belly Belly if you have Belly Belly. That's like the Chinese YouTube, by the way. Okay, I am not Chinese. I am also not Indian. I'm sorry, that was a horrible accent. But yeah, as you can see, I'm not Chinese and I'm not Indian. So I am completely unbiased in what I have to say today. And also, I'm sorry to disappoint the haters. I'm not paid, sadly, by the Chinese government, also not by the very rich South African government, also not even the Indian government. So yeah, sorry to disappoint you. Anyway, let's go. Welcome to India. Indian Railways operates one of the most extensive railway networks globally, covering over 68,000 kilometers and serving around 8,000 stations across the country. India's railway system is one of the largest and busiest in the world, playing a crucial role in the country's transportation infrastructure. But India has no high-speed trains. Currently, the fastest train in India is the Vanda Bharat Express with a top speed of 180 km per hour. On average, Indian Railways carries around 23 million passengers every day, making it one of the busiest railway systems in the world. Despite its vast network and improvements, Indian Railways faces challenges such as overcrowding, safety concerns, aging infrastructure and financial sustainability. However, many trains run at or above their capacity. Many of the Indian Railways infrastructure, including tracks, bridges and stations, is aging and requires significant maintenance and modernization. Indian Railways faces financial challenges including operational losses and mounting debt. The railway system relies heavily on government subsidies to cover its expenses. The biggest of all, safety. Indian Railways has unfortunately experienced a significant number of fatalities due to various incidents such as derailments, collisions, trespassing accidents and suicides. It is sad to hear about this. India has a population of over 1.42 billion people and over 23 million passengers use the trains every single day. So I feel like safety is so important. Not just the actual train, but also things getting stolen. I mean, there are so many people pushing, shoving each other. Then you have the reliability of trains. What time will they be there? When will they leave? You know, those kind of convenient things are so important for 23 million passengers using these trains every single day. Man, it's, it's sad for me to talk about it because so many people are using the trains every single day. They depend on the trains to get to work, to get to their families. Reliability, safety, it is so important for the people of a huge country like India. Which brings me to China. China is a completely different story. China's high-speed railway network spans over 40,000 kilometers of tracks, making it the world's largest high-speed rail network. China's high-speed trains operate at speeds ranging from 300 
to 350 kilometers per hour. The development of China's high-speed railway network has contributed significantly to the country's economic growth, regional development, and urbanization. There's no other country in the world that even comes close for comparison. I mean, in second place is Spain with 4,000 kilometers of high-speed rail. That's 10 times less than China. But China isn't stopping. Under construction is another 30,000 kilometers of rail, which by 2035 will bring China's total up to 70,000 kilometers. The railway network connects every single major city in China and even most remote areas. The time is incredible. For example, Beijing to Guangzhou is over 2,000 kilometers. A normal train will take up to 22 hours. A high-speed train takes only eight hours. The Shanghai Maglev train is the fastest in China with a top speed of 431 kilometers per hour. It is no normal train. Maglev is short for magnetic levitation. The only train in the world using magnetic levitation instead of steel wheels. But wait, China isn't done. In 2020, China tested a new upcoming faster magnetic train that can reach speeds of 600 kilometers per hour. Another maglev bullet train. Beijing to Shanghai which is more than a thousand kilometers. It takes three hours with a plane, but with a train, only two hours. I mean, we're going faster than planes over here. But wait, there's more. I mean, look at India, all the people on the roof, overcrowding. Here in China, people actually have seats and it's not just normal seats it is comfortable seats it is clean and that is because the government of a big population like this actually focuses its resources towards the people because china and india they are in a race for the biggest population so i feel like india should do the same focus on the people and before you tell me that i only showed you the high speed trains of china and only the normal trains of india Okay, then let's talk about the Chinese subway systems. Chinese subway systems feature modern facilities, including air-conditioned trains, barrier-free access, digital signage, and advanced safety systems. Many subway stations are equipped with amenities such as shops, restaurants, and passenger lounges. I mean, look at how this subway station looks and it's not only this one there are much more i made another video about the subway systems here in china i'll put the link down in my description you are more than welcome to go check it out and i do want you to remember this is not in beijing or shanghai it is just in an average city called Kunming here in China. So buy a ticket, fly to China. You have to be at the airport more than three hours before your flight. High speed trains, you only have to be there maybe 30 minutes before your train leaves. That is the convenience that China gives. And please, when you ever do use the high speed trains in China, take some videos, show the haters that don't want to believe what we are showing them. Yes, I make a lot of videos to show how amazing China is, but it's because China is amazing right now, but they are even improving more and more because they are already the best, but they didn't stop there with the high-speed trains. They are making even faster trains to make it more comfortable for people to travel around this country. So that is why I show you videos like this. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you have any comments to add, where other people can also learn something, you are more than welcome. Please do that. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.